In three. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I should record two. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to record a good day internet file version. Count me in. Three. Well, hello, it is time for our Q2 Daily Tech News Show Hangout. I guess it's also a good day internet hangout. I'm Tom Merritt, uh, of course, with me, Sarah Lane. Hello. And uh, finishing up his lunch is Roger Chang. Hello. Still in my teeth, <laughs> but I can talk. Roger, now, what, what did you have for lunch? I had like uh, a curried lentil and brown rice. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds delicious. Uh, this is a, a, a quarterly thing that we've been doing since almost the beginning of Daily Tech News Show, where we just want to update people on what's going on uh, with the show. Uh, and if you're new or unfamiliar, um, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash DTNS, meant to support the show Daily Tech News Show, which tries to help you feel smarter about the technology world around you. We spend all morning reading all the tech news so we can boil it down for you uh, and give you all of the context and understanding that we can give you. And then uh, we also have a wider show around that called Good Day Internet, where we talk about movie snacks and other things. It's a pretty fun show, I have to admit. Yeah, it is. I agree. Uh, so, you know, the the top line stuff that I, I I cover sometimes on this is how we're doing financially. Uh, the Patreon is like down 11 uh, patrons over last month right now. Uh, last month it was down over the month before. We're kind of in the summer doldrums uh, on the Patreon side. I have an idea for that, though. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, the ACAST uh, revenue has been pretty good but it's also kind of going away for the summer. Uh, it may come back. Uh, but the majority of our revenue still entirely comes from the Patreon. Like that's, I guess the majority can't entirely come, but the majority of our revenue still comes from the Patreon. Uh, so that is that is what we rely on the most. Uh, we also get a little money from PayPal, a little bit of money from our merchandise. Uh, I'd like to figure out how to boost that more as well. Uh, we've we've tried a, some things over the years. I have a couple of thoughts. Well, I mean, there's always good thoughts for merchandise, but it's almost like just having someone paying more attention to it. And if your thoughts are about that, then I think that that can definitely help. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about is the Patreon. The second thing I want to talk about is some ideas that we all had when we got together for dinner last week. Uh, Amos, our intern, and Rich Straffolino, who does Daily Tech Headlines, were in town. We brought them into town and and had a little brainstorming session. So we'll talk about that. Uh, and then Roger will hear your idea. I'll put it. I'll add it to the agenda. Roger's ideas on merch. So let's start. Oh, and then also, and then questions. Uh, if you are uh, in the Slack or in the Discord, uh, you can go to uh, the questions channel in the Slack. Or uh, if you're in the uh, Discord, go to your patron level uh, uh, um, channel, like the analysts channel, uh, and submit questions. And we'll get to those at the end of the show. So uh, for the Patreon, one of the things that Patreon says will work really well is redoing the tiers. They say if your tiers have been around for a while, which ours have basically been around for five years, not all of them, but but we've had pretty much the same setup for five years. They say redoing your tiers will help. Uh, it'll get people more interested in, and uh, you'll be able to talk about more things, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I want to redo the Patreon tiers, but there's two principles I want to uh, preside over is one is not taking anything away that you still want. Uh, there, there are some things that are promised in there that we have taken away because nobody really cared about them that much. Uh, and so we need you to tell us this is the thing on Patreon that I love. Do not take it away. This is this. I'm at this tier and I get this thing and I don't want to lose it. Um, so let us know. You know, it's the best way to do, just respond to the posting about this hangout on patreon.com slash DTNS and say, this is the thing I don't want. And the other thing we could use is ideas for like, you know what I've always wanted you to do as a Patreon reward is this. Because um, it's not all about just adding new rewards. It's about taking uh, things away that aren't that valued. It's about changing the levels. Uh, 
if we change the levels, it won't change the level for you as an existing patron. That's important to know. Let's say we took, I'm not saying we're doing this, but let's say we took the $5 level and made it a $7 level. That'd be silly, but just for the example, right? If we did that, everybody who's paying $5 a month right now would stay paying $5 a month and getting the same thing. It'd only be new people uh, that would have to have to change. So the tiers are independent of the amounts in that respect. So we might change around the way the tiers work. Um, do you guys have any thoughts on that? Well, I mean, and if the, again, this is hypothetical. If a $5 tier became a $7 tier for new people, it would also come with new perks. Uh, it wouldn't have to, but it probably would. Cause we're talking about changing yeah. around the perks. Yeah. 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 And if you're at the $5 tier and we add $5 tier is called the associate producer tier. If you're at the associate producer tier and we change the perks at the associate producer tier, it, you get them if you're already there, whether you'd pay $7 or $5. Um, yeah, I, I'm really curious to know what uh, the patron Patreons really value in terms of what we're uh, outputting right now so we can get a better sense of where to where to to invest our resources um to better shape uh, the show for for their enjoyment yeah because uh because the the point of the patreon is to support the show the the rewards are there as a thank you uh and we try to make them things that are ex ex you get access that other people don't Right. So I've, I've heard people say, well, wait a minute. Good day. Internet is live on Twitch for anybody who wants it. Isn't that my perk? Well, the perk is you can have it delivered to you as an audio RSS, or you can get into the discord if you're unavailable for Twitch and listen to audio. You have more options if you're a supporter of Patreon than you do otherwise. That, that, those are the kinds of things we want to do is say, hey, when you're a member of our Patreon, you get more things than other people. All right. Well, and I think we have a pretty good idea of the things that uh, resonate with our audience. Editor's desk, for example, mm. you know, lots of lots of good feedback on that. Want more of that? You know, do, do you um, you know, do you do you like the uh, the well, we're we're still in the early stages of the live with it three month stuff. But like we can do more of that. All of the all of that is dependent on what it means to our audience so yeah um we can't do giveaways associated with the patreon patreon doesn't like that um it causes legal issues for them that's why they don't like it sure um or else i'd say like hey if you're a patron you get into a special giveaway for for stuff but we could do giveaways it can't be tied to the patreon but we could do giveaways that's something that's been uh suggested and and maybe i don't know <laughs> maybe you get to vote on what the giveaway is if you're a patreon or something to, to to play by the rules. Um, start, that's one of the actual ideas that was uh, came up in our brainstorming last week was was doing giveaways. Um, another one, well, one I had was uh, collaborating with uh, other shows slash uh, podcasters that we don't already regularly interface or uh, work with. For example, you know Justin, he has his mm -hmm. he has his. Justin, Scott, Patrick, they're all podcasters on the right, but you know, we work with them on the show. Are there people out there that we are unaware of that you think would be uh, a good blend for us to to maybe have on our show or maybe Tom or Sarah on their show? Um, Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, suggestions, always welcome. And, yeah, I want to get back and, to giveaways. And often are really oh, good. Yeah. I want to get back to giveaways because I had another thought on that. But uh, yeah, let us know if you're like, uh, and people do this a lot. Uh, they send us emails and say, oh, did you know about this person? You, They might be a great guest. Uh, we just got an email like that today. So it's not that we're saying uh, you've never done this, uh, but uh, more ideas, the better, right? Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm still brainstorming just kind of a, a kind of a boilerplate format. So you know, we know who it is, what they do, and where we can reach them. One of the hardest things is just reach, trying to contact people. Well, but yeah, I mean, yeah. not to, the people suggesting aren't going to necessarily. Oh no, no, know no, no. But all that information. But if um, just to formalize it a little bit, but yeah, yeah. If you, as much information as you know about them, if you want to suggest somebody to us, is uh, is superly help, super helpful. 
Um, but back to giveaways is I, I just wanted to ask, uh, is that something people want? And if so, what would you want? Is it merch? Is it tech products? What, what kind of stuff? Well, okay. So in the, um, in the example of my Jabra, um, earbuds, mm -hmm. that was, mm -hmm. that was my first live with it, uh, uh, <clears throat> example, you know, I, I, with some caveats, I came away with it pretty, pretty excited about that. Would people want that as a giveaway? So that's a good example of something that you yeah, know, I was going to bring that on. up because I don't want to take that stuff away from you. But yeah, well, I mean, I, I you're totally not taking it away from me. It's like, you know, we're, we're a team. Um, but you like them so much. I do. But I yeah, do. Um, use them could, every day. <laughs> and, and we could even do we could even do things. <laughs> I'm, I'm now I'm just talking to you, Sarah. Like we could do something where uh, if you're like, but I really like these light bulbs, we could just buy new light bulbs and give those away to people, too. Yeah. We wouldn't well, have to take them from you. No, no, <laughs> no. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, don't take away the yeah. things that I'm living with. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. have to keep living with them. But yeah. that would be an example of, you know, if I'm waxing poetic about how great something is over a certain amount of time, that would be a good example of someone being like, sounds pretty good. Might Although, want this too. What's funny is most of the people in the Twitch chat right now are like, meh, giveaways. <laughs> Not a big deal. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe yeah. that's a big deal. We don't deal want free for... things. Don't well, care. maybe it's a bigger, bigger deal for people who aren't as active in the show, right? Yeah, maybe. Um, or yeah, if there's not a you know a, a, a demand, then okay, we'll keep brainstorming. Uh, this is one that's this. we probably don't need a lot of audience feedback on this, but uh, Roger had I think a good idea, which is occasionally opening the show with an email instead of having the email at the end. Yeah, like my idea is that um, sometimes we get really good emails, uh, but because of their uh, length or brevity, it would be a really good way, or the subject matter would be a good way to start the show with, because it would be very topical for what we would be discussing, or it's a, a quick reply to something we mentioned in the previous show, you know, as a, as a way to kind of uh, mix it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and there are certain times where somebody will have emailed us something and it fits in perfectly with the story that we're going to talk about anyway. So it, you know, it becomes part of the rundown in the non-mailbag part of the show. So the more that that would make sense, I think we're all, you know, we're happy to do it. Yeah. And R Roger, um you feel free to suggest those when you see them. You're like, "Oh, this would make a good opener." Um, let us, let us know when you see the, the kind of thing that, that is, is, is what you were thinking of. Yeah, totally. Um, I've, yeah, I, I will be on it. I think this was another of your ideas, Roger, uh, which is, uh, thinking of our stories more along how much time do we want to talk about them rather than what we traditionally knew, which people in the audience may not realize, which is we usually think five top stories, three or four quick hits at the top. And then uh, a main discussion. And I think we always have quick hits for things that we don't need to spend time talking about, but maybe not separating the main discussion from the top stories so much. Yeah, like, uh, you know, for example, um, just the other day we had two really great topics in one show. I think it was maybe Wednesday's mm -hmm. uh, show. Uh, we had, um, was it, Li not Libre? We had Libre, but there was another topic in there that we were running lawn with but it was very it was it was uh i think it was the huawei story and um yeah it, it happens on shows and i'm wondering you know, you where know, we're, we're kind of we kind of get our groove going and mm -hmm. yeah we go a little bit long and instead of trying to you know paint ourselves into like this uh, uh structure we can open it up where like hey this is a really great topic we can devote six minutes to it and then we build out like with the subject matter and then we kind of arrange it sort of um, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it'd still be, we'd still have a discussion, but, uh, we wouldn't have to maybe limit it more than we needed to. Um, here's one that was just suggested by iHeart Infotech, uh, read only access to the show doc for patrons. Okay. Which in principle, I have no problem with, like just given that you can do that in Google docs, you can give a link. Uh, and we publish our show notes as, or we publish our pages as show notes after the fact anyway. I think what iHeart InfoTech is suggesting is 
certain level of patrons could just have access to look at it ahead of time and see us as we're populating it and, and oh, be able to I follow see. along while we're while we're doing the show. Uh, you know that that could be kind of a dynamic thing. I mean, it the the rundown does change. Yeah, you know, up yeah. until showtime, quite a few times between, let's say, eight a.m. and you know one p.m. Pacific. So yeah, we I would have, have a to make that. sure that everyone understood that other people could see it. Yeah, because sometimes. Right? Like we may, we, I don't think we do this anymore, but in the past we used to put info about guests in there, like, like their Skype number, or, you know, oh, yeah. email sure. addresses, things like that. We wouldn't want, we'd want to protect that sort yeah, of thing. That, that I keep in a separate document. Just yeah. For, so I don't think that's as yeah. much of an issue now because you do that separately. Um, but you know, when I'm, when I'm normally like going on a tirade about something in the dark and, uh, W Scott is one, was one really likes that <laughs> we usually, idea. we usually save that to slack. For slack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, true. That's where the tirades happen. <laughs> I do think, uh, I do think I would be embarrassed about all our spelling errors. Ugh, so many. Well, you know, but that's also a thing that, you know. Well, I guess if it's read only, you wouldn't be able to help us with that, but you'd be able to. That's another to, Patreon to level. Know, you get to, yeah. you get know to that copy Sarah editor. frequently gets become our copy editor. editor. Yeah. Just, <laughs> um, but I think it, I, I think that would definitely add uh, a nice yeah, like kind that. of uh, behind yeah. the scenes. I mean, it's totally doable. It's um, you know, just as long as we're sure we're not making a huge mistake. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, the only thing is, I would just want to canvas the the contributors that we have right now and make sure the main all, contributors yeah, yeah, yeah. see if they're make sure cool they with know. it no that's right um yeah i guess they would see the yellow and red uh signs there you go they would yeah. know when we're ignoring roger <laughs> well you know this goes <laughs> back to when it goes yellow red yellow red <laughs> it, now it, we're really ignoring roger it, it does kind of go back to what uh <laughs> what i was saying earlier like you know if we ex if we pick these stories and then just decide like you know this is a really good story because six minutes to it you know because we kind of yeah, yeah. do that already uh mm -hmm. we yeah i i think that's a really good idea we wouldn't have to um feel so uh conf uh conform uh, feel so restricted yeah well and I, I like you say i think we kind of moved away from that but just saying for sure like no we don't have to have a big 10 minute story every day we could have two six minute stories yeah. you know or whatever um okay sarah tell us your idea so for extra Twitch content. Extra Twitch. Okay. So for anybody who is now familiar with the fact that we are um, streaming GDI and Twitch, I was thinking, well, okay, before before GDI starts, um, and that starts at about 1 p.m. Pacific time, and that's everybody's kind of familiar with that. Sorry, my dog is having very weird dreams. Otis, come down. Aw, sleepy Otis. Oh, I know. Um, but um, so we do that beforehand. And I don't think that, I don't think Tom or Roger and I really have the, you know, we don't really have the bandwidth to do a whole lot before when we start streaming mm -hmm. because we're trying to make DTNS happen. But after the show, there are often times that I'm like, you know, I, I could stay on Twitch for another hour. And maybe, and maybe talk about a few of the tech topics that didn't make the show. Yeah. Still, still good topics. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's actually, you know, anybody who has access to our rundown would know that we have a lot of topics in the morning and we, you know, throughout the day, we're kind of like, well, is this, you know, is this a quick hit or do we have something to talk about? And, you know, um, there, there's a lot of movement that goes around and just, the nature of a 30 minute show, it doesn't always make the show. Yeah. But a lot of the stuff is pretty cool. And also just, I don't know, there's a little bit more kind of, I don't know, tech culture stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Internet memes, uh, you know, stuff that stuff that we're all seeing in the news that might be kind of fun for a, a discussion. And certainly on the Twitch network, you know, having people who are in there, if they want to be part of the part of the discussion, I would love that because I'm already here. So I was thinking maybe not five days a week. I don't know. I mean, just throwing it out there. Maybe, you know, maybe two days a week to start. Maybe five days a week, maybe one. I, um, I think for start, just like when you can do it. Yeah. You know? Well, but I would like to have like a regular schedule. Yeah. Just, well, you know, I'm sure for, after we for do my, it for a couple weeks, you know, we for, for everybody's benefit. But mm -hmm. I, I would be super happy to do that. And because there are always, I would say 
five stories a day where I'm like, eh, yeah, we couldn't get to it. But that was a really cool story. Uh, you know, so this would be uh, an extended uh, director's cut version. We could call it ICWMI. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, yeah. So uh, all of you let me know if that's something that you would like. Yeah. And and Otis would be a big part of it because he's he's That's so far the good. only reactions are Otis Cam? Would there be Otis? How about Otis? Yeah. Otis Otis will be part of this. He'd be he's an official he's actually a pretty good curator. Yeah. You you'd you'd be surprised. Yeah. Gordon McLeod kind of loves that idea. All right. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh yeah, feedback at dailytechnewsshow.com. Uh let us know what you think of that. Um also, this this one's a little more of a mechanical thing um, for you Daily Tech Headlines fans, which we know this is not really part of, but they're our sister show. Uh, Rich Trafalino was suggesting maybe we do, and we've done this a couple of times in the early days of Daily Tech Headlines, a separate episode for the big event announcements. So Samsung Unpacked, Google I.O., Microsoft Build, Apple Announcement, uh, instead of not having anything about them for 24 hours, because usually DTH gets published before these things happen, having a second DTH that's just like, okay, here's the stuff that came out of Google I.O. Boom, 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 boom. And then you'd still touch on it the next DTH the next day as well. Yeah, and and Rich um, Straffolino, who, who does the majority of daily tech headlines, although Tom and I both do one per week, you know, he he had a very good point where he's like, you know, the, if it's WWDC, the, the keynote, that's going to be the majority of that show's headlines. But let's say you don't care about that for whatever reason, and that's fine. Well, you know, do you lose the people? Like, there are always other uh, news items on any given day. So this would hopefully satisfy satisfy both both parties. Yeah, my only uh, my only worry about that is we have an Amazon slash Google home uh, uh, audience that only hears the most recent episode, right? right? You'd say, play my flash briefing and you get the most recent one. And I'm, I don't know that that would matter because when they play it, it would be the most recent news, certainly. Um, but you have to take that into account, but I think it would still work for that. Um, and well, DTH and doesn't, yeah. uh, I heart Infotech is suggesting that be a perk on Patreon. Uh, DTH doesn't have a Patreon. It's purely ad supported. That's, that's the only way it works. So, um, so maybe if they get a Patreon, uh, that's a thing. I, I don't even think it needs to be a, a Patreon bonus. I think it's just something you put out there. It's, it's a brief news show. That's what it is. And a good one at that. And a darn good one. And uh, growing. Rich yes, was like, the, the numbers have been up lately. So that's kind of Rich's project now. I just sort of handed it over to him. I just work for him. Uh, this one's specific to twitch.tv slash good day internet. Um, emojis. Everybody loves emojis. Everybody wants emojis. Roger and I don't understand how emojis work, but we're learning. I am learning. Uh, I I mean I understand how emojis. I mean, we, work, yeah, we know what they are. It's just like figuring out how they work with it. Yes, Twitch. and then uh, figuring out what we want to create. Is it just yep. like Sarah, Tom, Justin, Patrick, Scott heads, or do we want something different? Um, yeah. Um. You. Can, how should they let us know what emojis they want? Maybe in the Discord. Yeah, Discord or um, I mean, or or email us at uh, feedback at. Otis Ray and Sawyer emojis have been requested now. Mm. You know, obviously Otis, we uh, need. There, uh, there's already an emoji that's very Otis-like, mm -hmm. uh, but sure, <laughs> let's work on Ray and Sawyer. I think we need a uh, hot tamales emoji. Mm -hmm. uh, we need a uh, watermelon with the the red strikeout. Yeah. Right. No yeah. watermelon emoji. Visceral reaction. Yeah. Mm. Um, Bacon, obviously, we need a bacon emoji for sure. A Lacroix emoji, I think, would be good. Yeah, sparkling water emoji. Yeah. Uh, uh, pass on the bacon. Yes, on the Lacroix. So there we go. Yeah. All right. Fine. Uh, and then uh, I believe it was C Pots Fifty pointed out that uh, at one point we were going to make a cookbook last year, and we didn't do it. Uh, turns out it's hard. 
to make it right. I could have slapped it together and put it on Lulu and be done with it, but it wouldn't have looked very good. So um, I'm trying to get uh, layout help. And uh, despite good intentions, that hasn't happened. So uh, put it this way, still want to do a cookbook, just need to find the time and the help to do it. All right, Roger's ideas on March. What does that mean? On March. Merch. Oh, merch. Merch. Yes. Yeah. I said, like, wait a minute. Like, March is already I, like, yeah. next March. Don't Three worry. Typos. Next March. Um, Roger's ideas on the March. I was thinking, like, maybe if we could, uh, you know, people could send us uh, a really cool snapshot of them wearing our, st- our, our merch and whatever local. Uh, town or city icon they get a photo of and we could show it on the show or put and, and post it on the patreon it's like hey um yada yada i got a uh, got a picture in front of the uh, statue of liberty wearing a dtns shirt which would be awesome by the way um, so a uh, picture of someone in their dtns shirt in front or, of the uh, little whinging uh, sign in england yes i don't know what that is that but an I example guess of what you're talking about uh Yes. Don't get too hung up on the name of the town. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, or okay. a cap, or you know, uh, the or a beanie, yeah. you know, whatever. And then we could uh, we we could kind of showcase them on uh, once a week, or every day, or every other day, on the show. Yeah. Well, I was going to go to some questions. I, I was that the only merch idea. I'm sorry. I like that idea. Um. Uh, yes. Done. My other one was socks, but I think I mentioned that before. Right. Well, you just, I mean, you could contact David and yeah. get that rolling. I, I'm all for that. Uh, we need somebody to, we need somebody to, to have an eye on merch and have time to really give it some love and care at some point. Oh, I'll, that reminds me. Uh, we do have a redesign of dailytechnewsshow.com still underway. It's slow going. Um, but it, the, the one mock-up I've seen from Ray looked really nice. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, he is giving us a uh, a good friend deal, uh, so I'm very patient with him. But yeah, we should hopefully have a new site at some point in the future. I don't see any questions at all in uh, Slack or uh, the Discord. I think they've just been throwing them in the Twitch chat as we go along, which is actually very handy because I'm I'm reading. Yeah, it right that's now. fine. Maybe we just make that the. Uh, I mean, you can if you're if you're at a certain if you're at the analyst level, you can ask me a question any day of the week. I'll I'll do my best to answer it. Um, said, uh, <clears throat> yes, you were you were saying? Oh no, I said uh, no. I was, no, I was thinking of something else. I just realized it it, it would work. Oh, W. Scottis One wants to know if we could provide benefits like the Patreon benefits to people who subscribe on Twitch, because you can send emails to people who have subscribed to the Twitch. I have to figure out an equivalency for that, but I'm not against that idea at all. Um, but I don't know if you can send emails easily based on on their subscription level. Um, but we'll check that out. Oh, uh, Gardner VH is one of the people who very nicely says, how about the topic of how many chat rooms there are? Mm, Meaning there are too many chat rooms, Uh, which, you know. Well, yeah. I mean, if you, yeah, (laughs) if you want to go where everybody is, there are several options. So Tom, what do we, you know, what, what's sort of our messaging on that? Yeah. So, so here's the thing. Um, we used to just have one chat room, the irc.chatroom.net. Then we started Slack. And so we had two places that you could interact. And people in Slack were like, do we do this during the show? And no, we just do it in RC. Then we started the Discord because Patreon offered that. And we're like, yeah, let's try that. And then we had kind of two versions of Slack, but some people chat along in Discord. Then we started Twitch, which has its own IRC. Now, I think we can move the irc.chatrealm.net into Twitch potentially, but you lose a bunch of the functionality if you do that. So most people haven't done that. Frog Pants hasn't done that. Night Attack hasn't done that. Uh, and then it becomes a question of, well, do we take away other things, which I generally don't like to do. Uh, so I don't know. 
to me, it's like wherever you want to be, you have options. And right now, it seems like most people want to be in the Twitch chat while we're doing the show. So, that's where I'm at. I, I I don't want to take something away from from somebody, especially because the day Twitch chat went down, everybody piled into the IRC, uh, and it became hopping again. It's a good backup. Uh, I just I I kind of want to go slow and see what people use it for. Yeah, and uh, and, and to and to kind of flesh out that. Um bit i also keep an eye not just on twitch but also on the irc uh and discord so my my eyes are constantly popping between all three yeah um gardner vh says the discord value seems to be reduced during the show um well people were always in the irc during the show before so i guess because all of good day internet is on twitch you put it this way i'm looking at the discord if you want to talk in the discord i will see that first most of the time um yeah. you use it the way you want to use it though i'm always paying attention to discord during show prep during the day uh i pop into slack at least once a day and i see irc and twitch chat during the show so if you were using discord all the time and you were talking about it during the show uh i would see that stuff and we would respond to it Absolutely. I don't know if you want me to take away something. That's all. Seems like a bad idea to take away things. Well, and yeah, I mean, the alternative is like, okay, well, the only place we chat is this platform. And that yeah. would upset people. I know that would make it easier to say like, here's yeah. the place to go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll keep thinking about yeah. it. Um, and I, I personally understand, uh, um, what Gardner VH is, is alluding to, it, it can be confused. Like, where's, where should I send mm -hmm. my thoughts to uh, so I can interact with other fans of the show? Um, currently, you know, they're, they're in Twitch, but uh, Discord doesn't get diminished. It's just for that 40 minutes. Also, if you don't know, uh, we do uh, go live in the Discord uh, audio channel before the Twitch channel. I don't know how valuable that is to people, but some people like it. So you you get a little extra listen uh, if you're in Discord. Something to know about. Uh, let's see. I'm checking to see if anybody is popping into questions, but it does not look like they are. We're getting good questions in the Twitch chat, though. Discord is the best, says Tim in Discord. Uh, Discord is great, but you know, our Slack community also. If great. I had to do it over again, I'll be honest, I would do Discord, not Slack. Yeah. But we yeah, did Slack not, before yeah. Discord existed, uh, as a, as an option. Uh, and so I don't want to take it away. That's all. And it's, it's hopping in there. There's people chatting in there all the time. And, uh, yeah. And not just with us, but with, um, other, uh, sure. viewers and other fans of the show. The way it's become is Discord is the one you automatically get when you're a patron, and Slack is the sort of grandfather channel. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. And they're both around 24-7. Do you like me? Check yes a box, yes or no, says BioCow. Um, yes, of course. <laughs> I'll say it out loud. Prefer to listen in Twitch so the audio and video are in sync. Well, yes, that would make sense. Fair point. Yeah. I try not to uh, use other audio when I look at other video. That just doesn't work. Yeah, the other thing about Discord is you, you don't get to see the video, but you don't get any latency. It's immediate when it works, which there was server issues today, but most of the time. Yeah, Discord's available to everybody. That's the other thing. Slack's only available to analysts and up. Uh, I heard Infotech says you could migrate the channels to Discord and do writes. You don't. There's no need for that. Uh, we could just create the channels and tell people to go there. This is about human behavior. It's not about technology. I mean, people could totally move to Discord if they want. Uh, I just don't want to take this Slack away because some people are like, I don't want to go to Discord. I like it in Slack. So. 
I have no idea why Twitch on Roku was pulled. That is one disadvantage to Twitch. Uh, yes, YouTube is getting rid of Hangouts on on air like we expected, so we're very glad we moved to Twitch before that happened. Uh, but it does mean that there is not the easy option on Roku for Roku viewers. So hopefully that'll that'll change at some point. Anything else? Um. I don't know, besides saying that our patrons are the best. Yes. And they are. Uh, no, I, I, I look forward to feedback from a lot of stuff that we threw at everybody. And uh, otherwise, yeah, we're, we're, you know, onward and upward and happy to happy to take everybody's ideas into consideration and, and make this a show that makes everybody happy. Yeah, this was good. This was yeah. good. Good brainstorming. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I I'm constantly surprised at the uh, the helpfulness of of the the audience, uh, not just towards the show, but to each other. It's actually very rare to find. It is very heartwarming. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a good. Well put. Pat yourselves on the back, audience. You're the best. You really are. All right. Um, that's going to wrap it up for this quarterly hangout. Uh, we will do another one in about three months or so. Uh, but as I said, uh, anytime you want to ask a question, uh, if you're at the master level in discord, I'm always looking at that. Um, uh, but the questions channel in Slack too, uh, and let us know 24 seven and we'll do our best. Thanks everybody. Thank Bye. you. Have a good day. <laughs> yeah. See you next quarter. Yeah.